is currently August 21st of 2019. So I officially have pollution in my cost planner and I have everything logged that I need to buy, modify, or make for them. So that way I can do them the first day of TCC, which is November 1st through the 3rd. I'm pretty sure off the top of my head, that's what I think it is. And I've had my first day of shopping, looking for stuff for pollution. I also got some clips while buying this stuff that I'll put right here because I had a good old Goodwill adventure. to be updating it because first things first I bought the white tank top that I needed and I also bought the white shoes, white sweater, and white pants all from Goodwill with the prices already logged in there so I can uh, keep tabs on how much I actually spend on this costume. So that's what I've gotten so far but let me show them to you. So first things first we got some white shoes that I got for $6.99 that I will be making into muddier, polluted shoes with some black sludge and stuff, like the ones that they wear. Um, I'm doing kind of a modification of their biker outfit, but with the tank top version, which I'll put a picture of up. And then I also got white pants. They are kind of a denim, but like a soft denim, which is what I was looking for. And I will be staining these with a dye, so that way they have the sludge on them. These were $5.99, or $4.99 and the metal also matches with the sweater I bought I think. I like to keep metals about the same especially in outfits in my everyday life and in this so that was just an extra good find at the good old Goodwill. Next thing we have is the sweater that I'm gonna be modifying to be more like the one that they wear. Since I'm just tying it around my waist I'm pretty sure for the panel I'm in I did manage to find something that has seams that have the same sort of line pattern as the one that they wear but yeah so that's what I got by way of that this was the most expensive part which was $6.99 and last but not least I got a tank top for them that I'm gonna be wearing uh this was the cheapest thing at three or two ninety nine, so three dollars I wanted to get a shirt that I could stain and I wouldn't be ruining something like kind of expensive because this is getting the brunt of the pollution juice or whatever they have on them so far so good, we are about halfway there. My hair is green now. And this is the dye that I'm going to be using on both the clothes and wig as it is wig safe since I've used this method before to give roots to, for example, my loop wig. What I did was put two parts black, one part gray, and a shit ton parts water so that way it was a very liquidy consistency that I could then brush into the wig, which will be shown on screen now. And it's
outside today to dye the clothes bought from Goodwill and the shoes. It's hot and I can't see. But I made three vats of dye out of the same solution as last time, varying from a, gray, a light gray, a dark gray, and then a black. And what I'm going to do, which you will see now, is pour it over top of the clothes and the shoes, using a brush to distribute it in bigger portions like in the actual photo. And then from there, I'm going to leave them out in the sun to dry, and then I can take them in, and they will be crunchy and gross, much like our sweet, sweet person pollution. <laughs> how I'm doing my makeup test for pollution for tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm actually gonna have teeth FX on my teeth so they look black and like gunky, but I didn't feel like dealing with that at school. Um, but yeah, this is what some of it together looks like. And when I'll show you all the final product at the actual convention because I can't bring my bottle of black goo to school.